All right, friends, we are back with another blind react <laughs> for my Vlogmas videos that I did four years ago. And you may be watching this realizing, like, you look exactly the same as you did during the original react. Did I just call it a blind react? I don't know. It is kind of a blind react because I haven't planned this out by any means. But yes, I'm filming this the same night. I'm filming this in October, although it probably won't go live until December. But that's just because I've opened a bottle of wine and I'm loving this whole like software situation. I don't think I mentioned this in the previous video that I did like this, but I taught myself how to do this within 30 minutes and then just instantly became obsessed with it. So I don't know if I see like gaming or Twitch streaming or anything like that in my future, but I just love this whole setup and I'm having a lot of fun and I've just learned to follow what lights me up and what's most fun for me. So I wanted to keep watching videos and react to them. And so we're going to do it for Vlogmas. <laughs> okay, so how many do we have to choose from? Did I do like 25 videos? I think I was supposed to. But I don't, I don't know. It doesn't look like I did that many. So let's see this plan with me. Vlogmas day one. Plan with me. Oh, no fancy intro for Vlogmas. Oh, okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy first day of Vlogmas. Yes, you heard right, Vlogmas. I am crazy enough to want to do this. For those that don't know, Vlogmas is something <laughs> that started a little while back where YouTubers post a video every single day for the 25 days leading up to Christmas. I was posting weekly videos and Vlogmas. First, I'm going to go over the things I use to plan out my month. I have a <laughs> monthly calendar, my planner, and also some different colored pens. Next, I'm going to write the categories I use for each color. So in black, Out I have focus, YouTube. Of course. In blue, I have work. Green is writing. Maroon is errands and bills. Pink is junior league. And then purple is events. Oh, but I was so ju in junior league. Later. Yeah. I use the calendar on my phone as a no reference. No wonder it's so I full. <laughs> in there. Then I go through day by day and I write down the different events or things that are going on for each this day. This is still true. I, I just have so much less going on now. I it's wonderful. I stuff that way, so I will actually go through each and every single day and write everything out for that day before moving on to the next one. Y'all, like, you just have to clear your schedule. Like, if things don't light you up, you gotta nix it. It's time to go. December 2016, I'm just now seeing the calendar. Holy crap, why am I so busy in December? No, no, no. December now for me is like a month of reflection and rest. look like, although it's not completely finished because I did not write my YouTube video topics, but I don't want to spoil anything. I am appalled. I am appalled at how full... I'm, st I'm even more appalled at my planner. My day planner and write down everything week by week as you can see. Also, what is that planner? I did use a passion planner for 2016. Passion planner. Okay, I remember the passion planner. Once I have my weekly and monthly layouts complete, it is time for me to make my to-do list. There's more. <laughs> I use the Evernote app to do this for the month. So you can see I have my to-do list for December. Oh my gosh. And there are little check marks by each one of them. Oh my so gosh. I off when complete, and that way I can stay focused for the month. And I just low-key had... Tra right, like just that is a that traumatic is memory come up seeing S and O P meeting content. because that was something at my corporate job that I would dread monthly. So that just like no. Okay, so day one we talk about planning. So that's cool. It's the giving season, baking M&M Christmas cookies, benefits of gratitude. Let's look at my winter morning routine. Let's just see what I was doing December 5th of 2016. What did my morning routine entail?
Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my morning Why routine. Why is it so dark? This can be either my weekday or weekend morning routine, but normally I wake up around 6.30 or 7 o'clock. <laughs> I always wake up at my class. <laughs> I wake up at like 9, 10 o'clock every morning now. Oh, the struggle. Also, the bed that I'm sitting in now is the same bed, but it was on that wall. So it's on a different wall. Oh, pretty flowers. I sometimes drink tea in the mornings, but normally I will make myself a cup of coffee. If I'm running late for work, then I will normally do it in a travel mug. But today I had some time, so I just don't use. I do not use anything like coffee. dairy anymore. So that's crazy. Once to I've had see. a little bit of coffee to wake myself up, I will look in the sink to see if there are any dirty dishes. I hate starting off my mornings. It's so weird to see my house like six years ago or four years ago I can't do math right now oh that's before the couch like completely just got destroyed so but I was still putting blankets over it I need to replace that couch I will pick up a book and just read a couple of chapters or just wait until I feel this is a nice morning I got a little book light okay okay my coffee too I'm reading The Young Elites right now by Marie Lu. I'm almost done with it, and it is so good. I can't it is so good. Is Highly recommend that series if you have not read it. As that gave me the inspiration see, for Shadow Crown. Oh, I have a yeah, rug in the entryway. That door. Office now. <laughs> that door actually got kicked down by the firefighters from the fire department in my neighborhood. That's a long, that's a story for another day. But I don't have that door anymore. Now I have the more medieval door with the little like peephole but it's like a peep door <laughs> oh my gosh look how overgrown the garden is Kristen do you have a landscaper what it's been oh. in the 50s here in Texas, so perfect running weather. I'm one of those weird people who actually does brush my teeth for two minutes. I had some pretty bad cavities when I was a kid, and it's kind of carried over into my adult life. I have very soft teeth, so I floss like twice a day. Sorry, you guys, I have like just an illegitimate fear, irrational fear, if you will, of the dentist. Like, I just. Oh my gosh, <laughs> look, I'm like full on in a row, like a bath towel. <laughs> Really bear it all for YouTube. This is just as realistic as possible. Oh, look, this is my makeup routine when I actually used to wear foundation. I don't wear foundation anymore. I put a little bit of concealer under my eyes and that's it. But I blend my concealer in with my beauty blender. Next, I apply my face powder and then I will set this with a finishing powder. That's so much effort. After that, I put my top lid eyeliner on. I use liquid eyeliner for this. And I then still I use go liquid ahead eyeliner. And start filling in my eyebrows. Still fill in my eyebrows. My eyebrows are probably my favorite thing to do because I feel like they really frame your face. Yes. I if I have an event to go to, I will put on some false lashes. Oh my lashes, gosh. I used to wear fake right lashes now. all the I time. Know what? I had like eye problems after a while too because of the glue. Idea. Ugh, I'm watching myself eyes. put eyeliner on. I can't. I can't. After that, I'll put on a couple coats of mascara. I wear, so, like, you can even see my face We're right now. There. How I much less? Like, I do fun eyeshadow, eyeshadow, but how much less makeup do I have on? Like, lipstick. Yeah, lipstick still, that's makeup. like the key thing for me. But I don't do nearly as then much to my eyes anymore. I definitely, whoop, my definitely not my face. Favorite. Grab my purse and throw everything I need. Oh my gosh, I'm wearing workout pants. I can see it because of the little the if you did, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. But it's still dark outside. Bye. Look at how dark it is. There's not even any light in the garage. Oh, I do not miss waking up that early. Like by any means. Okay, well that was fun. Um at least in these, I can tell from my face here, like, I'm more excited about stuff. Okay, what did we just do? Winter morning routine. Vlogmas Day 7, reading my childhood stories. I feel like this this could just be fun. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel, and happy Vlogmas Day 7. Why is it this so blurry? This video might be a little shorter than some of the other ones, because it's not really going to be a vlog of my day, but... 
Oh, I remember now. I was trying to learn how to use a different camera, a more high quality camera. So there we go. It's like kind of focused a bit better, but not really. I feel like it's still not very focused. I'm going to read. I also wrote at age six and a half. It's called The Christmas Monkey. The Christmas Monkey! This was my dad's favorite story that I wrote when I was little, and I actually made him a the book family for legacy Christmas, man. where I folded some paper together when I was younger the and Christmas stapled monkey. the sides and actually wrote this in book format. This is how I got started as an author, him. you guys. Like, sure as a true writer, this was this his favorite was story, story. And I think it was probably my mom's favorite story, too. Once there was a Christmas monkey, every other monkey wasn't a Christmas monkey. Every other monkey wanted to be a Christmas monkey. How many times did I just say Christmas monkey? When it was Christmas, they gave presents to the Christmas monkey because he was Christmassy. Yes, he was Christmassy, which means he has a lot of Christmas spirit and he's dressed in red and green. Christmassy is a new word. Everybody loved the Christmas monkey. The only monkey that didn't like the Christmas monkey was the greedy king. He wanted to ruin everything for the Christmas monkey. So this is how he ruined everything for the Christmas monkey. At night, the greedy king would come and steal things except his special telling truth ball. He hid it under his bed. The king knew he had 17 things, but he only had 16 things. Hmm, if I have 16 hmm. things, then I'm missing one thing. The Christmas monkey is hiding something from me. I hate it when monkeys do that. <laughs> I hate it when monkeys do that too. I'm just going to find out from the other monkeys. So the next morning, the king went to go ask the other monkeys. None of them knew, so he went back home and said, at least I got 16 things. Oh well, 16's enough. I'll just go to sleep and stop stealing. So the king became a good guy, and every gift that was the Christmas monkey's gift, the king gave it back. The end. I think I probably said Christmas monkey maybe 20 times in the two pages in that story. So that is it for <laughs> Vlogmas Day 7. I hope that you enjoyed me reading some of my childhood stories. Uh, it was so perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Because I How many more do we have to go here? Okay, not many, not many. All right, let's just see what this, where to go? Where's the snow, there we go, snowman jar. Let's see what's happening with the snowman jar. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Vlogmas Day 10. Today we are going to make a little DIY project that you can give as a gift to someone like a teacher or a coworker. It's just a little something that's really easy to make and it's actually really cute. Oh, she's getting it crafty. It is this cute little snowman jar that has Flips pretzels in it. So it's really easy. All you're going to need oh, is a mason jar, really cute. three buttons, some string or ribbon, and then a little tag. Because who doesn't and love Flips pretzels? Like, oh my gosh, right they're so, so good. let's get started. Those sounds After so good right now. you washed your mason jar with soap and water, it's best to go ahead and fill it up with the pretzels or the candy that you are wanting to gift. Next, you will heat up your hot. Still wearing that Fitbit, man. Like, buttons it's really about the jar. Fitbit. This is actually a really cute DIY. Next is to take an elastic cord or string to attach. The I gift probably tag. found this on Pinterest. This definitely was not an original of mine. Is that is that it? Is that the video? Oh my gosh, this video was like two That's minutes That's all that long. I have for you guys today for Vlogmas Day 10. I hope you enjoyed making these fun little snowman jars. Like I said, okay, legit, I think that that was the shortest video I've ever made, if I had to guess. Let's just see what's happening in these FAQs, because I want to know, I do remember at this point, 2016, I probably, I did have over a thousand subscribers, so I do think that people actually asked me questions at like, in the first reaction video where I talked about how no one knew about me. <laughs> Asking questions about the Alpha Drive, I just like made them up. So, because there are quite a few questions that I get asked quite often, and so I wanted to clear the air and answer all of these questions for you in one video. The first question I get asked undoubtedly the most is, "Are you a full-time writer?" The answer is no. I am not a full-time writer. I have a full-time job, which is my career. So I go into an office forty hours a week and work, 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 and then I drive home and I normally try to write on the evenings and on weekends and really whenever I get a spare moment. Obviously, yeah. it is the dream to be a full-time author one day, but I feel like I do Girl, you're living your dream. Hopefully you're living your dream sooner. now, if only you right could now, see Right now, I'm very blessed and very grateful for my current situation. Question number two is how old are you? I 
actually do not take offense to this question at all. Still I'm don't. 28 years young, and I will be turning 29 oh. on May. I'm 33 4th years of young at the time I was born of this in reaction just video. Just you so. to know, so you can keep up with my age. That's enough FAQs for me. <laughs> okay. Writing favorites, holiday in the life. Okay, let's go into a vlog. I don't think we've watched a vlog, miss. Whoa, what's happening here? So quiet. Day 14. No, I'll play Final <laughs> Fantasy. Right? Yeah, I think it's Final Fantasy. Uh -oh. This was really the start of me gaming more often. So, I'm like such a video game person now. I love video games. Look at how teeny tiny! Stop it! She thinks he's a human. You guys are both actually humans. Look at all the hair in the corner. I need to sweep. Oh it's my god! It's dirty. Not surprising. But Denali's feet are so dirty. Look at her back paws. Oh, we have a get ready with me opening Christmas presents. Getting out of a funk. Let's go into my writing favorites. What were my writing favorites back in 2016? This was only, my channel had only been up for a year and a half at this point. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Vlogmas Day 13. I'm really hoping that you guys are enjoying Vlogmas so far because I'm having so much fun making these videos. So these are all the things that I love to have around me in my space when I'm starting to write. So without Still further ado, watching these the even, I mean this was a year into me being comfortable with YouTube, it's still so cringe for me because I was trying to be professional because I was still working at my full-time job. So I had like this fear in the back of my mind that one of my coworkers or my boss at the time or someone at the company would discover my YouTube channel, which is something that ultimately did end up happening. It didn't affect my job at the time or my performance or my career path or anything like that. But yeah. I felt like I had to just make sure I was put together that the way that I spoke was coherent and professional. So it's like so sad that to be professional, you have to hide who you truly are. Like that's such bullshit. That is such bullshit. Going off of the coffee creamer, I also like to have a fun mug with me when I start writing. A fun mug. I still have that mug. I think. It's the so only cute. issue it's with it is that you can't reheat your office, coffee because it's, it's not a mug that you can put in the microwave. So it gets so Max. hot. So, so, so hot. I've been using this so much lately. It's perfect for tea or for coffee. Then I always reach for hummus. This That's is organic still true. hummus in spicy roasted red pepper. Oh my gosh, is it's that from Costco? Like that is the biggest really thing of hummus I've I ever seen. <laughs> If you guys watched all these videos way back when, thank you so much for your support because I can't even get through <laughs> one of these all the way through. I'm just curious about this get ready with me. So, uh, quick disclaimer, I am not a professional makeup artist. No hey shit. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy. Vlogmas Day 16. At least the Today camera's focused. A spinoff of my beauty favorites video that I posted yesterday. Look at those bangs. The first thing I'm going to use is Benefit's Professional Face Primer. Let's see how much so makeup put on I put on my face. And on my chin and over my nose. Next is the foundation. I've been using the Born This Way foundation in natural beige and I'm absolutely loving it. I do it. So use some of that on the beauty blender Too Faced concealer. I, that's I the one concealer I still use because it doesn't crease. To my forehead and then eventually I will go ahead. And oh my gosh my though. Like together. I just don't wear a foundation or I haven't worn foundation in like three years. I just I'm not sure don't do which it anymore. color I'm putting on my eyelid right now. I just pointed to it but this is the first color I will put on my lids. Oh, it was like such From a task to just get ready. 
eyeshadow. All the time. I have to straighten my hair. That was the part that took the longest. It used to take me probably, I got it down to an hour, but it would sometimes be an hour and a half to get ready, like full face of makeup and also straightening my hair, putting my extensions in, curling my extensions. I got really fast at it because I did it like every day. But I go back to the naked three now, like it takes me maybe 25 minutes because I just scrunch my hair, blow out my bangs. I don't use like wear the foundation. So my makeup is just really minimal. So much on the face is this. This was popular back then. Foundation, concealer, more concealer, powder, probably like setting powder, maybe some setting spray like. Then I use air sponge, loose face powder to top it Face off. powder. There it is again. Just so much powder on the face. Back to the I YouTube still YouTube use that. I just don't go all the way in. You can probably see I in my eye. It's, it's just the corner. So just the corner with, with the little wing. I just absolutely love it. It stays on all day. But that is like the greatest liquid lighter I have ever come across because it does stay all day. It doesn't smear. It doesn't smudge. Still use Anastasia Beverly Hills for my eyebrows. I think I've gotten better, a bit better at filling in my eyebrows because one of, they were more of like cousins instead of sisters or twins, if you will. So one of them always looked like it was higher. You can see it right there. One of them is just higher arched higher than the other but my bangs covered it so I think that side of my face was kind of like the villain side because the eyebrow was more arched like the more suspicious side of my face but you could never really you could never really see it because I always had my bangs covering it so uh this just takes me back to because I'm neuro neurodivergent and self-diagnosed ADHD I didn't realize that that was even something that I was but I now realize that I am, Next, I apply and so and I, I do mask a lot, even as I'm filming this right now, because if you I saw me unmasked, I would look like such a bitch. The so like there's always bad. this kind of like lifted eyebrows, lifted, Blush, lifted face, like, like making me look interested in what I'm doing. Oh, we gotta do the the slow pan. That is it for this vlog. Oh, but that was a fun today, little up, makeup tutorial. I'm definitely not a makeup yeah. artist, but I kind of look like I I know what I'm doing. So that's exciting. Good job, good job. Way to go. What is this? Let's do ten things you probably don't know about me and the winter night routine. Those are going to be the last two for our Vlogmas sesh that we've been doing. Oh look, some B-roll. Oh, Market Street. So beautiful. They still put the tree up every year. It is cold outside. I'm on my lunch break the fact that people still have to work in the month of December is insane to me. Like, the fact that I was like, I'm still on my lunch break. Like, no one should have to work, period, in the month of December. It is literally for reflection and rest. Insane. Our society is insane. Oh, here we are. We're at my random facts, you guys. Okay, let's just scroll back a little bit. Let's hear my random facts about me. But I try to eat these. You know, if I can have one a day, I will eat one a day. I absolutely love mangoes. I love I was craving fruit. something sweet, and I wanted something healthy. Still. So I'm going to cut that up in a minute. Grapes. And have my mango. <laughs> so that's fact number one. The second fact that you may not know about me is that I'm actually a black belt in Taekwondo. Both my sister and I are black belts in Taekwondo. Don't sure mess with are. Us. Third random fact is that I have worn glasses since third grade. And I didn't mm. get contacts until they eighth were like grade. Harry Potter glasses. I was too. deadly afraid of putting things in my eyes. Fourth random yes. fact: I have never been skydiving, but it's on my bucket list, and it's something Still that I really, really, really want Still to do. Been the skydiving. fifth random fact is that I used to play the clarinet when I was in middle school, and I've always loved music. I loved making music as well, but obviously the clarinet was like, oh, you can be in strings or you can be in band, and I was like, well, I'll be in band. 
Then I chose something like the clarinet. So I am really grateful that I've learned to read music and I know how to read sheet music. I'm still, still learning how to, how to play to the it. piano. I'm really, really rusty. So Just that like, would bring us to our sixth random fact is that I've always wanted to learn how to play piano. The piano is my favorite instrument. All uh, the songs I can think of that bring me to tears or just really move me and really on the touch piano. my soul are those that have the piano in them. And so I've always wanted to learn how to play piano and actually... I have a I keyboard. A I'm still trying to learn. I actually just bought myself a keyboard the other day um, on Amazon. Still have it should that get keyboard. here in a couple of days. You know I got that. And I've tried. Shipping. It's but just... I bought it the just keyboard. Does, I'm it's like, not I don't sticking. know when I'm going it's to find sticking. time. I'm like, you know what? 2017 is going to be the year where I learn how to play the piano. <laughs> it was fact number seven. It's if 2021 and it's still not the year. I would be a fox. I really don't know why. I just think foxes are so cool. I I've love foxes. Thought, like, oh, That's why Arda and her her little animal really companion does, is no, a fox I, in the I Shadow Crown series. And I love foxes. To oh. have pet foxes. I would totally have a pet fox. Most preferably one that was a marble colored, like one that was white and black. That's Random Juniper. I am That's a Juniper. pretty That's social fox. person. I would say that when I was in high school and in college, especially, I was very much extroverted. I love yeah. meeting new people and going out to different events and occasions. And Not anymore. Just I am people, like a you know, full-on introvert. And I really enjoyed that. But I actually, now that I've grown older and I've spent more time by myself, I actually really love being alone and I love being by myself. I think a lot of that comes along with writing because it's a very solitary activity. So you do it. Alone, no, girl, you you're just like, like a alone, real serious empath, psychic person that like takes on a lot of people's energies. And so, but you don't like know that yet. I you don't know that yet. Really <laughs> but that's why you're an introvert. <laughs> I like being. By I have a terrible, terrible voice. Like I have no pitch, no sense of just what sounds good when I sing. Yet I love to sing, and when I okay. find myself. Funniest story. So I have my little voice recorder from when I went on my ghost tour in a town nearby. Um, I think it was last month in September. And today I decided to, I ordered like a, a CD-ROM player and I put in Adele's, I think it's her album called 25 and listened to the song Hello in a, in a CD player. Like, put the headphones in, had a CD player, had that song play. And I decided to record myself singing that song at the top of my lungs. Because there's something about when you're in the car or you have your headphones in and you can't hear yourself sing that you just like belt it out, right? And I sang like at the top of my lungs and then I listened to it right afterwards. And I was just dying laughing because deep down you kind of hope like oh maybe I have this amazing voice that I never knew about before <laughs> and I listened to it and I was crying laughing because it was so bad it was so bad and so people were like you have the most calming voice your voice is so relaxing I love listening to your meditations and, like you probably would have a beautiful singing voice I do not I do not. I do not at all. It is like the worst. It is, I don't even know what to compare it to, but it is so bad. It's so bad. But I finally was able to really confirm that to myself earlier today where I was like, wow, singing is just not my forte. Maybe in another life, but definitely not this life. Okay. So, last thing we're going to watch is Winter Night Routine. I don't know. Maybe we'll watch the last one, the 16 Things I Learned in 2016. All right. Winter Night Routine. Let's see. The first thing I do, especially when I get home from work, is to draw a bubble bath. Bubble baths are my favorite thing after work. They make me feel relaxed. And I just all right, release all, right. all the stress from the day. And it's time to put on comfy clothes and mess around with the dogs for a little bit. As soon as it gets dark, which is about oh, 5, 45, 6 o'clock in the winter time, I like to turn on the Christmas tree lights. But we've been experiencing some 45 and 30 degree weather here. We're experiencing so that now in October. 
I know you guys are probably watching this in December, but it's October so right now, now and it's been in the bath, 40s. Put on comfy clothes and lit a fire. It's time to pick out a book. I'm currently reading First Life by Gina Showalter. And this is the part of the evening <laughs> where Jonathan and I will just relax after a long day of work. Normally he'll play video games and I will do some editing. This is so funny to watch. I'll read. Sometimes I'll play video games with him. Oh, Which yeah, yeah. So that's one thing I want to mention. I didn't use anything with fluoride in it fluoride in it anymore because the box did you hear what I just said I've had too much wine I don't use anything with fluoride in it anymore because it calcifies your pineal gland and that is a major major part of like spirituality and so I use Tom's toothpaste because it doesn't have fluoride, I make sure I don't drink bottled water, purified water, none of that. Like the water that I drink too, I make sure that there's no fluoride in it. And it has done wonders for my psychic abilities. Just kind of like an FYI. So the last video for Vlogmas is 16 things I learned in 2016. I am actually pretty impressed and amazed that I was able to upload a video consecutively for 25 days and for the most part I wasn't late I was very consistent and on time wow and so in 2016 for 25 days straight I uploaded I one video a day again so 25 videos in 25 days I do not think that is something I could ever replicate this is a very ambitious for me I definitely had a lot of challenges, obstacles, hurdles, lots of trials and tribulations. Oh, girl, just Not you wait. In just my a few writing, years later, you're going to be in the pits, in the pits of despair. Just a lot of other areas of my life besides my writing life. I'm, I'm sorry, happy. but it's just so weird to see me with straight hair. Like, this, again, it's like watching a completely different person. And I'm just looking forward to the future. I've worn my hair curly ever since, I think it was 2020, like March, April of 2020, like right when the pandemic started, I was just like, I'm just going to start wearing my hair curly, I'm not straightening anymore, like I'm over this, so. Number one, your mindset determines your life. This was probably one of the most important things I learned in 2016, and I think I kind of knew this all along in the previous years, but I really, really understood this this year, is that if you sit in a negative mindset, if you're in a negative headspace, if you are just stuck, then you are going to stay stuck. And if you don't so find true. a way to consciously pull yourself out of it, then you will remain stuck. Your mindset truly does determine the things that happen to you. I'm a very big believer in the kind of energy that you put out. So if you put out positive energy, high vibration. Is she talking about energy? 2016 person is talking about energy. Oh, girl. Just exactly you wait. You want. Just so you wait. If you have a negative mindset, then you're going to be vibrating at a lower frequency. You are going to have a negative energy surrounding you, and you're going to attract negative things. So I really do believe that. Your mind that right there is proof of how long I've been on my spiritual journey. That right there. That was me trying to kind of like slide it in, but I was too nervous about what other people would think about it, right? But that right there, 2016, that's how long I've been on my spiritual journey. It was really 2015 when I woke up in the hospital, right? But 2016, like, this is proof right here, this video. Pretty gigantic thing that had happened, and I was like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to make it through this one. But really, when it comes down to it, it's never as bad as it seems. Things can always be worse. And a lot of the time, our situations, when you actually put them under a microscope, they are not as serious as other situations out there. Yes. So I think sometimes Zoom we out. have a way Zoom of blowing out. things out of proportion. And it's good to step back every once in a while and realize that it's never as bad as it seems and the world is not going to end. The third thing I learned is that <laughs> patience is rewarded, but getting there is the hardest part. I am someone who is very go, go, go. I have all my goals. I'm, you know, in the fast lane on the fast track to get to where I want to be. So patience is not a strong suit of mine. It's very difficult for me to be patient because Still I'm <laughs> very much an instant gratification person like you guys saw in a lot of these vlogmas videos, especially with giving people presents and opening presents. I just want to, 
I just love that feeling of instant gratification. I just, I crave it and I want that. And so when you work on something for such a long time and it takes a long like time to start seeing the rewards and seeing things come out of it, it's really difficult. It's hard to stay patient. It's hard not to get frustrated. It's hard not to think, what am I doing wrong? Could I be doing more? But I've come to realize this year that patience is rewarded. You just have to be patient in getting the reward. And of course, that's the hardest part. The fourth thing I learned is to take the leap and say yes. I had a lot of opportunities come knocking on my door this year, and some of them seemed a little bit out of the box or maybe a little too far out of reach at the time. But I thought to myself, you know what? I'm just gonna take the leap and I'm gonna say yes. And I did for a lot of events. And I look back at this year, especially in my writing life and being an author, I look at all of the things that I've accomplished. I'm like, if I hadn't said yes to half of those things, they never would have happened. I wouldn't have gained those experiences and I wouldn't have learned everything that I did. So I'm so grateful that I took the leap and that I said yes. And that is on that note, life is your, I just want to say this, especially because you're watching this in December. Your soul came here for the human experience. It came here to experience as many things as possible, whether good or bad, because good and bad are both subjective. So it's, I love that movie, Yes Man, because it really just kind of summarizes how I feel about life, just like saying yes to things. And of course, I've had to learn what's worth my energy, what's not. But in order to learn what is worth your energy and what's not worth your energy, you have to say yes. You have to go through the experiences. I'm one of those people who really does learn from experience. I have to be in the driver's seat experiencing the things while those things are happening in order to really take it in and to really understand. Remember, like to zoom out, to zoom out from like your day-to-day -day perspective and your weekly what's going on that week to really zoom out, you know, 50 years from now and just ask yourself, is this something that when I'm like laying on my deathbed, is this something that I would want to have experienced? And if the answer is yes, you should do it. Number seven, you can't just snap out of a bad mood. It's a conscious decision. This was another thing I struggled with this year, especially in the beginning of this year. I would just kind of get into these moods for a week where I would be just in a bad mood, maybe kind of depressed, lazy, didn't really want to do anything. And I kept waiting. For it's funny to, to hear me up. talking about this because now that I understand human design and the fact that I'm a manifester with emotional authority, these moods are actually very important to me because I experience the high highs and the low lows. And before I can make a decision, I'm not someone who can make a decision right off the bat, which is something I used to do. I have to wait until I experience the high high, I experience the low low. I have to wait until I'm neutral before I make a decision. Unless you're trying to do a conscious self-reflection learning experience. Shadow it, work. But to just go back to that That's memory. That's me trying to say shadow work. I just didn't know what it was yet. I am happy with who I am, what I'm doing, what I've done. I'm proud of myself and I'm happy. That's where true happiness comes in. You're not going to get it from an external source. You may buy something that makes you happy, but that happiness is only... I can say happy. that back then, Maybe I was still struggling with this. I still had so many things that I wanted to achieve, so many goals that I wanted to accomplish, and things that I thought would make me feel more worthy, more successful more accepted and loved and like kind of like put on a pedestal you know and again that's another false narrative that is fed to us our whole lives so the human experience is so 
It's so funny, and it's such a paradox. The biggest difference comes into play. So I want to, I forget to stop and reflect on everything. It's so funny because this was filmed in 2016, and I'm listening to the things that I've learned, realizing how they're all spiritual principles and the things that I talk about now in the inner divine collective and the things that I'm so focused on and so it's like watching this is so it's like nostalgic but also so validating for me because I can see it in there but I was afraid to talk about it and I also didn't know what form it was going to take and just how spiritual and metaphysical I was going to become. So we're on number 14, but I'm going to go ahead and stop right there because that was the last 16 things I learned in 2016. That was the last Vlogmas video. So I hope that you enjoyed going through some of these Vlogmas videos. I don't know. 25 videos in 25 days is a lot. December is usually a time that I take for reflection. So more likely than not, this particular video is going up the first week in December. And I've probably, if I had to guess, if I know myself, my future self, I've probably announced that I'm taking a bit of a break until January. Just again, because I know myself, I know my energy. But I hope that you enjoyed kind of walking down memory lane with me doing the vlogmases, but I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that thumbs up button, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!